Hi, how you doing? This is your friend to Haywire Canada. Uh, I'm not actually, the sign says here in Mexico behind me, but I'm actually not in Mexico. I'm actually still in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, but I moved to a new location. I used to live on uh, Primrose Street. I'm still in the North End. Uh, and I'm doing an update here. Um, basically, uh, this week was a really bad week. The week before last was awesome. I did record number of business. And this week was just the total polar opposite. It was a short week. And... Um, and then today I made a mistake. Tonight I um, I was short on some of my funds, so I thought I'd make some money, but instead I picked up a passenger that was uh, not stable. She seemed like she was on crack or something. She was uh, going all crazy and scared the hell out of me, and it kind of freaked me out. Uh, so what I did is I buy an accident. I went down and I played, uh, not accident, I, I planned it. I went down and I, I gambled. I admitted I lost $400. I lost uh, an, almost an entire week's wages on a bad week. It was a bad week to begin with, and I thought I could turn things around. And uh, But I know I have a, an addiction problem. I am fighting it, and uh, I'm not totally uh, finished. I didn't blow all my money. I just uh, blew $400, which is about, ha about the whole week I made that week. But I, I have other uh, avenues of, of income, and I still didn't blow it all. I have paid my bills to the people I owe, to the um, the, the car rental and to... Um, to the office, but uh, I, I bought some food and I paid my rent for the week, so I, I got all my bills caught up. Uh, and but I do feel really bad that I, I didn't stop myself sooner. And and even there was things trying to prevent me. I the door was locked, the machine wasn't working, but still I found ways around it. And uh, I admit I have a gambling problem, and I'm going to nip that in the butt. Um, I'm, I'm with your help and the help therapeutically. I'm going to give up my. Uh, hopefully get over this gambling addiction and uh... but the good news is i uh, number one i got a new place now um, this is where i'm at um, and it's a like a bachelor apartment um, I got a shared living room it's a rooming house and uh... the rent's about almost the same as what i was paying and uh... it's a little bit higher rent but then again i get power included and soon they're gonna have internet and cable um, so that will make up for it and um... Basically, I'm a little dis ashamed, and I feel bad for myself that I made the mistake of gambling, but I realize I have an addiction, and I'm going to get over it. And um, basically, what we're doing now, I'm going to um, just do a regular daily video blog and explain to you this week. Uh, number one, the first things that happened this week is I got a new apartment, which is better. Things are moving up. I don't have uh, the landlord uh, was always on my case over there. I lived across from her, and I, I, you know, I work odd hours with this cab business. But uh, the week before last was an awesome week. This week uh, definitely was a really sad week for me. Uh, I worked all the extra hours and what I could do, but I just couldn't make it. And then that's what kind of prompted me to do my gambling tonight uh, because I was. Uh, trying to make up for my losses but you can't do that and I realize that and I, I know a problem and I'm, I'm getting I'm seeking help from you and I'm seeking help from within and I'm seeking help from God and I know uh, God can do everything and everything is planned uh, he knows what's knowing going on and um, so it's all in his hands um, and sometimes we forget that we need Jesus we forget that we need God we can't do it all ourselves but sometimes we get this me-ism and um, I just basically wanted to say that uh, uh, I'm hanging in here. Things are going to turn around. I'm going to turn this week around, and uh, hopefully all my finances will be in order. At least I, I, uh, I got all my debts covered. Um, and um, Unfortunately, like I said, I wasted money I could have given to the church or put in other projects or saved for my trip to Mexico. Um, but that's kind of gone. I can't cry over what's already gone and just work on uh, live one each day at a time and look at the future. And the future is to work hard this week, get caught up, and not to blow my money on the machines. Um, I didn't raise a problem because I know I was ahead. I was actually ahead, and I didn't quit. I figured I could get more greed and things like that. And uh, so basically, this is my daily update. I'm uh, admitting I'm a, I'm a gambling addict, and I'm going to get help from within. I'm going to pray to God, do more prayer, and um, and hopefully with my support of my friends. Um, also, I'd like to send the prayers out to our friends in Florida and who are being afflicted right now by the uh, by the hurricane and I hope that, uh, that you make it through all right there's millions of people without power and stuff I was reading on the other window here um, so this is my quick update um, I'm doing fine I'm alive God's taking care of me I have uh, I have some a bit of money in my pocket I have a car I have a place to work um, I have food so um, we're gonna get through this and um, Things are looking up. You know, it's, we need to change. I was there 11 years at the same place, and 
things didn't quite work out and uh but things are, are looking up god's looking to take care of me and he's going to take care of you too so uh let's start with some prayer heavenly father thank you for the blessings you've given us each and every day thank you for our daily bread and our job our security and thank you for the nation of canada and, the, and all it offers to us please forgive me for my sins Please forgive me for my weaknesses. Please forgive me for trespassing against others. And forgive those that trespass against me. I pray each and every day is a new day. And each and every day I become closer and better and a better servant of you, Lord. Thank you for all the giving gifts you've given me. All the blessings that have come my way. And please help me to realize that some of the blessings I can't even see. Make them be more visible. Make me see your love. Help me to be, my vision to be clearer and know what you have planned for me. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. In the name of Lord Jesus, our Lord and Savior, amen. And that's my prayer. So take care, folks, and we'll do a daily blog and catch up with you soon. Um,